It's important to be aware of Section 115 capital A of the Copyright Act, which was added to the Copyright Act in mid-2015 by the Copyright Amendment Online Infringement Act. This provision allows a court to issue an injunction requiring a carriage service provider to block access to websites hosted outside of Australia. A carriage service provider for the purposes of this provision is an ISP. Subsection 1 provides that Section 115 capital A applies where an online location is outside of Australia, that online location infringes or facilitates the infringement of copyright, and that infringement or facilitation of infringement is the primary purpose of that website. There are issues here with the meaning and scope of this provision. We don't really know what primary purpose means. We also don't know what it means to facilitate an infringement. This is potentially a very broad word, certainly broader than authorise in our copyright liability provisions in sections 36 and 101. Where subsection 1 is satisfied, the carriage service provider must take reasonable steps to disable access to the online location under subsection 2. But again, we don't know really what the term reasonable steps entails here. Subsection 5 lists the matters that the court must take into account in deciding whether to grant an injunction. These matters include the flagrancy of the infringement, whether the online location makes available or contains directories, indexes or categories of the means to infringe copyright, whether the owner or operator of the site demonstrates a disregard for copyright generally, whether access to the site has been disabled by orders from a court from another jurisdiction, whether disabling access to the site is a proportionate response in the circumstances, and whether it is in the public interest to disable access to the site. These matters indicate that this provision is targeted towards large-scale file sharing sites such as the Pirate Bay. This provision models developments overseas. In the UK, Section 97 capital A of the Copyright Design and Patents Act 1988 allows a High Court to grant an injunction against a service provider, which may require the service provider to block access to copyright infringing sites. This provision was invoked in 2011 in the New Thing 2 case. To take a step back, in 2010, 20th Century Fox and other film companies sued Newsbin, a British Usenet indexing website, for copyright infringement. The site allowed users to search for and download copyrighted films. Fox won that case and Newsbin was shut down. But it later popped up again, this time hosted outside the UK in the Seychelles. This was the classic whack-a-mole problem. So another case was brought, this time against the ISP British Telecom. In this case, the Motion Picture Association was successful in getting an injunction under Section 97 capital A for British Telecom to block the Newsbin 2 website for UK citizens. There have been similar rulings in various European countries, including Belgium, Denmark and France, requiring ISPs to block access to the Pirate Bay. When this is taken into account, subsection 5D of our section 115 capital A becomes more significant. 
We have not yet seen an order made under Section 115 capital A, though a test case is currently underway in the Federal Court. Village Roadshow Films and Foxtel are seeking an order that require ISPs, including Telstra, Optus and TPG, to block access to file sharing websites, including the Pirate Bay, ISO Hunt, Torrent Hound and Solar Movie. Parties are debating how the website should be blocked and how broad an order should be. Foxtel wants a site blocking order which would allow blocks to be extended without going back to the court if a new pathway to a file sharing website is discovered. In other words, they want the ISPs to dynamically respond to the whack-a-mole problem. Parties are also disputing who should bear the costs of implementing the site blocks. Costs are a common dispute between copyright owners and ISPs. So stay tuned as to how this pans out.